let's say we have a gentleman who's um, a handyman, okay? He, he fixes broken homes. He kind of is transient a little bit. But he's not homeless, but he, he travels around. How would we develop this, this character? His life's a mess, but he kind of fixes everybody else's life. How would we make him interesting? By setting aside time to invent, just like we talked about Edison earlier, Edison invented the light bulb. You have to invent the stuff that he does and says. You have to invent the situation. He's a handyman, um, never really had a really steady job. He goes to one particular house, and in fact, maybe he's having trouble getting, getting work. Uh, and he goes to one particular job, and there's a woman there who tries to seduce him, and uh, so on. Now, what I just said, I don't mean to suggest that that's genius out of, out of Shakespeare, but it is events and anecdotes that I'm inventing. Um, the, uh, one of the best movies ever made is, is um, uh, Double Indemnity. And what I was just describing sort of sounds like Double Indemnity. I mean, first of all, uh, how do you like to make a movie about an insurance salesman? That's not going to excite a lot of people, and yet that's what Double Indemnity is about. So it's the stuff that they do. And as you remember, if, you, if you've seen the movie, if you haven't, you've got to see it. It's just a, a, one of the great, great, great films. Um, he's going out to, the, to try to sell an insurance policy at one of those mansions in my neighborhood, Los Feliz, Silver Lake Los Feliz. He says it's one of those $35,000 mansions. I mean, you know, this is 1948 <laughs> or whenever it is. I mean, 30, that's not even a, a fraction of the commission for the realtor, you know, these days. Um, and then he meets this woman there, uh, and um, it's sort of strange what she's doing, and it, she's very seductive, just like we were describing about our um, uh, handyman. But the point is, it's the action, it's, what, it's the actions that characters take that define their character. Uh, there's a wonderful book, very underappreciated, by a writer who died a few years ago, um, it's called Plots and Characters. And by the way, plots is first, not by accident. And also in Aristotle's Poetics, the first book on dramatic writing, uh, he clearly says plot is what's really important, not character, because again, character flows out of plot. There isn't any character outside of a plot. And if there's a plot, there's automatically characters that are, that are, uh, are, are going to be in it. Um, so, uh, w once again, I just can't hammer enough on how uh, um, amateurs, dilettantes don't get that, that it's really about story, and that what you, the real work of, of a writer is inventing the actions. Millard Kaufman is the name of the writer uh, who wrote the book Plots and Characters, and he has one of the most timeless, brilliant lines in it that I've ever heard, and here it is, uh, I've already said it, which is that it is action that defines character and not the other way around. I'm going to say it again. It's action that defines character and not the other way around. People who think it's the other way around are the kind of people who are doing these character workshops. We'll invent a, a character who has all of these traits and qualities and characteristics, and then we'll um, uh, turn her loose and see what, what she does. No. Define what she does. Tell us what does she do and that'll tell us who she is. That's true in your dramatic narrative that you write for the screen. It's also true in your life, isn't it? I mean, uh, uh, I like to think that I'm a moral, principled, um, reliable, decent person, but I look back at what I've done in my life and I see short-changing um, myself and others disappointing <laughs> myself and others, constantly, uh, frequently acting out of fear. Um, I would say my actions define me as a little bit of a coward. I'm easily, I'm afraid of a lot of things. Um, it's not the way I want to be, but, uh, but again, it's what I do. It's the actions, the events, the incidents, the anecdotes in my life that tell me who I am and that tell anybody who who they are, uh, and um, that tell audiences in movies, in movie theaters looking at the screen, that's what tells them who those characters are. Tony Soprano uh, is a function of what he does. He's a vicious murderer, criminal, 
He's also a father and a, and a, a husband. He's also a troubled um, man who's having um, blackouts, fainting spells, and he's, he's worried, uh, he has, he's so worried that he does a really wuss, uh, wimpish thing, which is engages a psychiatrist, you know, a therapist, a woman on top of that. Um, I mean, a mobster, a made man in the mob doesn't do that. Um, and all of those things define for us who, who, who he is. Again, it's not like we've defined the character and then put him into the situations. We put him into the situations and then the situations define the character.